We're taking you back to a time more than 160 years ago when carriages ruled these streets. Trains and ships were the modes of transport for goods and the town of Collingwood was incorporated. Welcome to 1858. The waters of Georgian Bay were populated not by paddlers, jet skiers, and motorboats that you see today, but by massive ships receiving and delivering cargo. Georgian Bay was a valuable gateway to the Great Lakes, with the nearby rail line connecting Ontario's industrial areas to the west, as well as Canadian and American ports in the Upper Lakes. The lighthouse on Nottawasaga Island was erected in 1858, and although it's no longer functional, it remains today. Look around the main street and imagine these brick sidewalks replaced by wooden boardwalks, kerosene lamps in place of street lights, and wooden structures where you see brick buildings. Collingwood was equal parts lumber town, railway yard, and Great Lakes port with a notable Wild West vibe. A devastating fire in 1881 destroyed much of the main street, but some of the buildings that stand today have withstood the test of time. The first brick railway station was built in 1874, and while it isn't still standing today, the Collingwood Museum building is designed to mimic the railway station. All Saints Anglican Church on St. Marie Street was built in 1858, and First Presbyterian Church on Maple Street was built in 1879. Town Hall, including the clock tower, was built in 1891. Two main rail lines transported people and cargo in and out of Collingwood. Old rail cars can be seen at the railway freight yards behind the museum, on what is now known as the train trail. The other route, the Hamilton and Northwestern Railway, ran along what is now known as Walnut Street from 1879 to 1960. Of course, we can't talk about railroads without acknowledging the Underground Railroad which passed through Collingwood en route to its final destination in nearby Owen Sound. Some 30,000 African-American people escaping slavery sought freedom in Canada, and some settled in Collingwood. The Heritage Community Church, which still exists on 7th Street, was established as a gathering place for the Black community. We're glad you're enjoying the Discover Collingwood app, and if you haven't yet, Download it for free in the App Store on your mobile device. Discover even more of Collingwood's history and how it shaped its present day culture at all eight discovery hubs throughout town and via the app. Self-guided tours will deliver new information while taking you along old, well-worn paths.